hey y'all hey <laughs> now i always laugh because um diana's gone and watched some of my videos and so now every time like not every time but sometimes she's like hey y'all hey <laughs> so it's just funny because um you know anyways um so i just wanted to i'm just thinking constantly shocker shocker um and it's so funny because i keep finding myself thinking like oh i have to wait till my hair is done or my makeup's done or i stop breaking out to film a video and i'm like it's so superficial <laughs> so superficial so anyways here i am point blank just on my way to yoga um just wanting to try to regurgitate some thoughts that are in my dome so um as i was talking about with like before the video before about discovering your gift and just staying present and aware of your purpose it's so true how like whatever whoever we hang around or the people we allow into our inner circles or our um, world as a whole it really does have an impact on where we end up mentally it's kind of like that like it's a bad for the negative aspect of it but lay down with dogs get up with fleas type of concept like same with when you operate with people at a higher vibration if you are always surrounding yourself with people that push and grow and question the whys and the hows and not in a negative analytical way but in a very like thought-provoking beneficial personal growth aspect it's so tremendously healthy um and amazing what the spark that it could really ignite within you when you are constantly surrounded by people that not require you but help you grow now i'm really grateful that um I have the people that I have and most importantly uh, my best friend Chelsea and my mom um, are two huge lifelines in my life no matter what through and through thick and thin um, good bad and indifferent uh, they sometimes tell me things I don't want to hear but and sometimes I have to process the things that are their stuff and not mine um, because as human beings we can't always give the perfect advice because sometimes it is going to come from a very self point because we are all a product of our own past and where we came from so there's that but they've always through and through seen things that I might not have been aware of or able to see at that time and although we all have a process and have to go through things however we're supposed to unfortunately and fortunately um, and relationships whether they're friendships or family or obviously um, a significant other or anything or bosses or acquaintances all of them play a role in our life and this like how we're being structured to be as a person and how we show up and we can kind of like take a little by little and the pieces that are good and maybe also the pieces that challenged us to grow and just look inwards and really reflect on what they brought to the table or what it brought out of you good bad and different and so the past few weeks have been very um i don't eye-opening i guess um but the truth tends to come out of things and people show you who they really are we all are capable of saying anything and everything you know and like this is what they say with like people tell you what you want to hear um, unfortunately it's true but I don't think that always makes people a bad person I think that sometimes not only do we want to see the best in somebody else but they want to see the best in themselves or you as well so I think that again each relationship and any kind of bond between people really is an opportunity to learn about yourself and no, no one's perfect and no one's you know completely um, I don't want, I was about to say you're responsible, but that's not what I'm um, trying to say, but, um, we're all have to take credit and also responsibility for how we've gotten to where we are at and the things that we've had to go through. I'm not saying that all life is like based on what we ask for, because obviously horrible things happen to people. Clearly that's not because you were a bad person or you did something wrong. Some things in life are just bound to happen the way that they are. But it's amazing what if you can stand back and kind of remove yourself from certain things that you can see the lessons that you were 
that you needed to learn and unfortunately sometimes this comes out in a very negative space like sometimes it's very toxic and it's very hurtful and it sucks and it nobody likes feeling betrayed or hurt or used or disposable but you know again they're just lessons and obstacles and moments that we can sh- rise up learn who we need to be become a better version of ourselves and As long as we keep growing and challenging ourselves, I think that's really all that we can do as humans. Um, For me, I struggled a long time with easily cutting people out when I get mad or frustrated. And I've learned that maybe it's not always great to ice somebody completely out and cut them out all the way. But also I've learned that it doesn't necessarily make you a bad person or like having petty or drama issues if you don't really want to allow something back in your life. Um, Chelsea had said something to me very pivotal like three weeks ago and she was like, you can't tell people what to do or have people show up a certain way, but you can distinguish what you're going to allow in your life. And whether that's because of who it makes you or what it provokes in you or what it what they bring into your world whatever element or reasons behind the way that you feel it's perfectly acceptable and we are all able and need to practice implementing boundaries and also knowing that maybe that doesn't serve you but that doesn't mean that you have to make somebody wrong or something wrong it could be a job a place a person anything but if it doesn't bring out positive sides of you or make you a better person or bring light or love into your world, then sometimes we kind of just have to step back and reevaluate why and what we're doing. Because sometimes too, another thing my mom, I have to get the fuck into yoga, but another thing my mom had told me that also resonated with me was that, you know, we all have little demons or devils inside of us. And sometimes we meet people that our little demons and devils dance with one another. And this is like where addiction or just negative behavior or whatever comes to light and sometimes we have to be responsible and aware of our actions and how we are choosing to show up and what a relationship really is and what we're if we're bringing out the best in each other and if we're not and we're kind of enabling each other to be poor versions of ourselves it's up to us to really acknowledge that and be honest with ourselves and again it doesn't make them bad it doesn't make us bad it just is and I've learned a lot about learning to watch people's actions instead of their words because a lot of times we can say whatever we want but people end up showing you who they are and that's so fucking true and I'm determined and bound especially with my yoga practice to continue to not have any ill feelings towards people I know I can get upset and reactive but there's nothing healthy or beneficial in that state of mind. Um, So I just have to release negativity, move forward, and just be grateful for all of the benefits and positivity that I'm surrounded by. Take it all in, release all the negative, and just continue to move forward. And that's kind of just what I was thinking right now. But this is gonna be the shortest video I've ever filmed (laughs) because I gotta get the fuck into yoga. So um, yeah, it's about, it's like basically almost summertime and I am fucking excited about it so onwards and upwards and let's go get our yoga on shall we it feels like i'm vlogging for real because i'm like holding you guys at an uncomfortably awkward angle and um can't say it's attractive but hey we're doing it and we're doing it and we're doing it well (laughs) so anyways i'm definitely in a very positive headspace today and i'm really grateful um for my dropping keys dropping keys I'm really grateful this video slurs. I'm really grateful for my current relationship and what it's provoking inside of me and what it kind of holds me accountable to be and also become. And that's really all I can like ask for is that somebody brings out the light and love inside me and keeps that spark alive. So like I said, everybody comes into your life for a reason. And as long as we're open and aware of why and how, we'll grow and we'll glow. Keep on thriving and shining, people. So, 
Ah, it's a beautiful day. I'm so grateful for where I live and the sun. I got so much sun this weekend and also things to look forward to. Going to see my dad in a couple of weeks and Diana's sister is gonna come stay with us for a month from Virginia and she's I'm in, a teenager. And so that'll be cool. Maybe we'll take her to Colorado if we can and um, just all sorts of things to look forward to. And I'm just grateful for the space that I'm in and learning to bask in all of its glory. Oh, with that, I'm onward to yoga. Bye!